So it is that time of the year again. It is time for a roundup of my yearly favorites. Usually I do a roundup of everything in every category and stick it into the one video. This year I decided not to do that because I had so many favorite things from the past year. I mean a gazillion favorite things. Everything in this video is either new or rediscovered. I'm sure from watching my videos you guys all know what to expect in this video. I will link down everything I can below. So I'm just gonna go bam 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 straight through them, explain why I like them, them in categories as well. So I'm gonna start off with the face and what do you put on your face first before you do anything else? Your primers! And I think that primers are so important to prolonging the life of your foundation, making your makeup look flawless all day and filling in those nasty little pores. Two primers that I want to talk about from the same brand are both L'Oreal. I'm obsessed with L'Oreal. These are completely different primers. One is the Nude Magic Blur Cream. This is a dupe for the poor professional in my opinion from Benefit. I think it acts exactly the same. I have a video of how I use it down below and how how alike it is to the professionals. The next one is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Base. This is similar to Strobe Cream from MAC. Absolutely adore this. This gives me a more luminous kind of appearance. So when I want my foundation to look dewy or glowy, I will use this as a primer and I adore it. The Catrice Prime and Fine, amazing primer. It's a silicone type base. It is cheap as chips. I think this is less than a fiver. I go through tons of the stuff and I think it is an amazing primer from the drugstore. Next I want to talk about foundations. There's two foundations that are shoulders above the rest and this is probably no surprise to you but it is my L'Oreal True Match in the number I think I'm W3 and then the L'Oreal Infallible and I'm in the colour 140. Ultimate foundations cannot put them down. I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible today. I absolutely love how it performs on my skin. I love the texture it leaves my skin. I love the tone it leaves my skin. Definitely my favourite drugstore foundations of 2015 and one of my all time favourite discoveries of 2015. So next moving on from that I want to talk a little bit about concealers. One concealer brand that again is one that I use quite frequently. It's one brand that when I think of affordable good quality concealer I always think of this concealer. Now I have it in a really dark shade because I use it to cream contour and it's excellent for that as well. I learned how to cream contour this year badly. I will link down my video below and I wanted to say that the colours that I use in the light for concealing I use about four different colours. We'll list them down below. Absolutely love these. Highly recommend them. There's cheapest chips you can buy them off. Beauty Joint. Just a Amazing. The next concealer I want to talk about is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer and I love this. This is in the colour Vanilla. It's amazing at brightening underneath my eyes. It doesn't sink into fine lines or crease or anything like that. It doesn't go blotchy. It is just amazing and one of the best concealers apart from the LA Girl concealers that I have found this year. For setting powder, I actually have a new favourite setting powder which is amazing. It's not my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Mm, I know. So it is the L'Oreal The Powder True Match. Keeps my oils at bay throughout the day. It's one that I use constantly. I'm all about the affordable pressed powders versus the high end. I feel like they perform exactly the same and if you can save your money then why on earth would you invest in a high end one? when the affordable ones are just as good if not better. This year I've actually given my e.l.f. under eye setting powder a little bit of a rest. It's not because I hate it or fall in love with it or anything like that. It's just I'm trying new things, you know, branching out. This is not necessarily marketed as an under eye powder because I use it for my under eye area. I call it an under eye powder. This is the Nude Magic BB powder and this is in light skin and it's a really, really, really pale powder and I use this underneath my eyes to set them, obviously. It's so compact. It's great for bringing on the go. If you have really light skin, this is great at setting your face makeup. I absolutely love the consistency of this. It doesn't cake underneath my eyes. It's loose enough and finely milled enough that it will just set my under eyes without adding any more coverage or adding cakiness to the area. So I love it for that reason. So keeping in the zone with face products, I'm gonna move on to blushers. I am absolutely loving the Milani baked blushes. The two colors I actually have here are Luminoso and Dolce Pink. I have, I think, about four of them. I think they perform exactly like the MAC baked blushes. They're fun fantastic. They're so pigmented. They're just super pretty, amazing, and for the quality and price, you cannot, cannot beat them. They're just amazing. These blushes were definitely in last year's favourites because they are just ultimate favourites of mine. So they're not technically new discoveries, but they are old loves. I have every colour, I think, in these. And they're the sleek blushes. So in front of me here, I have this one called Rose Gold, which is a dupe for Nars' Orgasm. And then on this side, I have Suede. There's so many different finishes. There's so many different colours. They're super insanely, intensely pigmented. They're just amazing. 
like look how intensely pigmented that is. I hope you can see it. This is a beautiful color, rose gold, and one that I highly, highly, highly recommend. I put that in the top of my list. The color that I've been gra gravitating towards a lot is suede. It looks kind of meh, but on the cheeks, it just translates amazingly and looks superb. These blushes are not powdery. They come in a ton of different finishes, and I just highly recommend them. Next up is bronzers. There's only one bronzer that I've been gravitating towards from the drugstore because I have found my favorite high-end bronzer and I've just been going near nothing. When I don't want to use up my high-end product, I go with this one and this is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It's matte, it's not orange, it translates amazingly on the skin, it's great for contouring, it's great for adding a little bit more for a bronze. I use it during the summer, I use it during the winter. I just think it is insane and it's so affordable. I think you can get it for about three or four euro. Another affordable bronzing duo is one that I have been going towards a lot, a lot, a lot lately and this is the sleek contour and highlight duo it comes in a light medium and dark as far as I know and this one is the light shade and it's perfect for my skin tone I don't need to go any darker because I don't want it to look too muddy or anything like that I use this a lot for contouring again it's matte it's the right tone of brown it's not too orange or anything like that it doesn't make me look muddy which is just I absolutely hate muddy looking contours I would take off my whole entire face if I noticed that my makeup was looking muddy and and this does not do that. The highlighting side of it is fantastic. It's not the best highlighter I've ever used, but for the price, you cannot go wrong. I think it's about six euro for this duo, so happy days. And finally, from that same brand, this is a highlighter too, but this one is like leaps and bounds ahead of that other highlighter. And this is from Sleek again. And this is their Solstice palette, and it looks like this. This comes with three powders and one cream highlighting product. It's fantastic. Now, the packaging of it is just, it gets so messy because obviously it is gold and you can see fingerprints and everything on it but you know hey ho it's not the worst thing that ever happened this purple color enticed me the most about this palette and it actually translates really really prettily onto the face I'm using this highlighter today on my cheeks but to be honest this one here is my favorite out of the bunch I just think that the packaging is so expensive looking sleek really up the amp with this packaging and I really hope they bring out more amazing products in 2016 because they've really blown my mind this year with their products so next moving on to my eyes I'm going to talk about some of my products that I've been gravitating towards a lot. I'm going to start my brows and there are products I was using up until last month. I absolutely love eyebrow gels. Two brands that stood out for me this year with eyebrow products were NYX and Makeup Revolution. They brought out amazing eyebrow gels. I absolutely love them. They're great at setting down your eyebrows without going hard or cakey or flaking or dried out or anything like that. The only thing is I'm rubbish at my brows so I need a product that works really really well with me. They're the ones that make my brows look the best and I highly recommend these to someone who wants to try eyebrow gels. The only thing I will say about it is the packaging is a bit irritating, meaning like I'm trying to squeeze it out and you have to put it onto a cotton round if you want to use it because you'll put too much in the brush and then it'll be just caked and then your brows will just look a bit too full on. So you just have to be careful how much you use with these. The only other eyebrow product I've been loving this year is my Brow Plumper from L'Oreal and I don't know if I talked about this last year because I did discover it at the end of last year, but it's just fantastic. I love the little spoolie. It's so small on it. It's very similar to the brow, uh, Gimme Brow from Benefit, but I prefer it. I just think that the spoolie on it is way better. I just think that the product inside is way better. You get way more bang for your buck. And just because that little Benefit one looks so teeny and cute, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the way to go. I do love this product and I just, I highly recommend it. For eye primer, I actually would usually never mention an eye primer, but this one from Catrice needs to be mentioned. It is absolutely a amazing. This does exactly the same job as my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I just think it's fantastic. It's great if you're on a budget. It makes my eyeshadow last so long. It keeps them looking pigmented, stops them from fading. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. And it is less than three euro. So you honestly can't be going wrong. For eyeshadows, there are three brands that stood out to me so much this year. And the first one is Makeup Revolution. The product that stood out the most from Makeup Revolution for me was the Chocolate Bar Palette. Now I have three chocolate bar palettes but this is my favorite one it's the original one and it's meant to look like the Too Faced chocolate bar it is fantastic now it's not as pigmented I have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette but it is so so close 
I use this palette today on my eyes and I absolutely adore it. I use it a lot, like tons of makeup tutorials using it and I will link any tutorials down below using this so do check them out. I think the product is amazing, I think the products inside it are amazing, I think the whole brand Makeup Revolution is amazing. They're a fantastic brand, I have tons of products from them and I highly recommend. The next one is Makeup Geek. I have filled two of these palettes with Makeup Geek shadows this year because they have just screamed at me. The whole concept of Makeup Geek just blows my mind. Anytime I'm thinking of a look that I want to do, I literally dive into my Makeup Geek palettes because it has every single colour under the sun and it's from the one brand. She has created so many different unique formulas, unique colours, everything about it. The brand is just amazing and like I said, this year I, I discovered it and think they're insanely beautiful. There is a link down to the Makeup Geek website below so do check them out. If you do want me to do a video of my top favourite Makeup Geek shadows, please let me know because I would love to do it. Another brand you hear me talk a lot about is Morphe and I have, I think I have about seven or eight of their palettes. So one of my all time favourite one is obviously this one. This is a 35O palette. It is incredibly beautiful. Just look at those colours. They are just so warm and vibrant and gorgeous. I have filmed a tutorial using this. I just have to edit it so please bear with me while I try and get around to doing that and I will link it down below as soon as it is up. The other palette I loved so much from them was the Jaclyn Hill one. I just thought that this was insane. Jaclyn Hill design, designed this one or picked the shadows herself. I think it's amazing. It's again quite warm. I'm in, in love with this plum colour. I used it in a tutorial recently which I will put down below. I just think it was a great palette and unfortunately it's not available anymore but all the shadows still are. So do check out Morphe if you haven't already. I rant and rave about these quite a lot and I just think they're an insane brand. Great quality and I will link down where you can get them below. You can either get them on the Morphe site or you can get them on Beauty Joint which is great because it's quite cheap shipping wise. The last eyeshadows I want to talk about are these ones from Sleek. I love Sleek and have done for years and years and years. The quality of the shadows are so buttery and creamy and the texture of them. You get 12 shadows so you get tons of different colours. They're so many different varieties of them. They're really easy to get your hands on and you can create like tons of different looks with them. The good thing about the Sleek shadows is they also blend quite nicely so they don't blend into a blur. I find that some buttery creamy eyeshadows that blend they actually just all blend and mix in together and it looks like one block of colour. These do not do that. They're great. The ones I had here actually were Vintage Romance and the Storm Palette. The next eye products I want to talk about are the Makeup Geek Pigments. I absolutely adore these. I'm just obsessed with them. They're such good quality. I use them quite a lot and I think they come in so many different colours. Again amazing. Before these came out all of the types of pigments that you could get your hands on were MAC and they were so expensive. I love my MAC pigments, don't get me wrong, but when I can save some moolah, happy days. I want to mention these foiled shadows from Makeup Revolution. The pure Platinum and Rose Gold. These just translate so fabulous onto your eyes. Oh my god, they're amazing. I've had my eye in the copper one for the longest time and they never get it back in stock. Please, Makeup Revolution, bring back in the copper one. It's fantastic. So I'm going to pick up the other two shades that it comes in. I hope in 2016 they make more of these. They're like the Magnificent Metals from Stila. These are called the Awesome Metals. Quite similar in name, not similar whatsoever in price. The Stila ones are around 35 euro and these ones I think are five or six, so a huge difference and they perform exactly the same. I have the Stila ones. Another thing for eyes I want to mention is the NYX eyeliner, liquid liners. These are cool. These are so, so, so cool. They come in tons of different colours. I just had the blue. I think I had a green. I absolutely love the blue. Like, come on. Look at that. Even the applicator is good. Look at that colour. It's so vibrant and bright. I have to do a makeup tutorial with this. It's like rock solid on your eyes as well. There ain't no way to get this off unless you use a makeup remover. You are like stuck with this on your eyes. It's like a tattoo. The last thing for eyes I want to talk about is my Volume Million Lashes So Couture. This is a new one, that's why it's still in the wrapper. I absolutely love this mascara. I feel like it was in my favourites last year. Adore this. It just makes my lashes just look so volumised and long and just in your face and I'm not blessed with the longest lashes as it is. So to have a product that makes them look woohoo, I'm all about that life. So next I'm going to talk about lip products. I have a ton of different lip liners. There's brands that I absolutely adore 
One such brand that I really, really, really like is actually Jordana. And you've seen Tor Tawny Lip Liner come up tons of times. That's still a favorite of mine. But one that I really, really like is one called Cabernet. I think it is the most beautiful color I've ever seen in a lip liner. It's actually what's on my lips today. And I tend to find those dark lip liners really hard to work with, really drying sometimes as well for some reason. I don't know why. And I was really, really happy to get the one from Jordana. Now, it's not a brand that's sold in Ireland, but it's a brand that's really easy to get your hands on. Another brand that does great affordable lip liners is Mil Milani. Now, Milani seems quite similar in consistency and texture and quality, but the price range is a little bit more. So where you might pay three or four euro for Jordana, you will pay six, seven euro for Milani. But they seem quite similar to me. Even the packaging of them is so similar. That's another one I just have from Jordana in Sedona Red. They are just great lip liners from both brands and I highly recommend for affordable lip liners. The next one I want to talk about, this is like one of the best discoveries of 2015 with regards to lip liners. This is the PS Love lip liners from Pennies and they're exactly the same as Max World and I have a video on that down below. These are just insanely beautiful. They have unbelievable pigmentation. For the price, one euro and fifty cent, you really can't go wrong. Another lip liner I absolutely love this year, and it's only the one lip liner. It's not the brand or the range or anything like that, but it's the extravagant lip liner from Rimmel, and it's in the color Addiction, and it is insanely beautiful. It's a mauvey, pinky, brown type of color. Absolutely incredible. Great long-lasting power. Great consistency. Fantastic. Love it. The last lip liner brand for me has to be NYX, and the color that stood out the most to me was the color Natural. I absolutely adore this. I just think NYX make the most amazing lip liner. Definitely one of my favorite brands of the year, but their lip liners are just insane. They're just amazing quality. I'm going to move on to lipsticks. Some of the lipsticks that I loved in 2015 were for the color, others were for the brand. So the first one is the PS Love, again from Pennies. This is the nude lipstick, so that's it there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a great lipstick. The color of it's fantastic. It actually smells kind of nice. It's not repulsive or anything like that. And I went through, I think, two of these in the summertime. I loved this color that much. And everybody always asked me when I was wearing this on my lips, what's on your lips? Another lipstick I absolutely adored this year. This is the color that made me fall in love with red lip. This is Julianne's red. And it's the most amazing red ever. For me, it is my ultimate red color. It's on my lips, it's amazing. I have a tutorial with it down below. I just think red lipsticks are fantastic. For the brand, Wet n Wilds lipsticks. They're leaps and bounds above even some higher end lipsticks that I've tried this year. My favorite color has to be Bare It All, has to be. And Mauve It Over is another lovely one. The packaging sucks. I hate the packaging, but that's probably why the price range is spot on. Another lipstick brand I've been loving this year is from Milani. The colors that I absolutely adore are Matte Innocent, Nude Creme, and Matte Blissful. These are beautifully packaged. They're gold packaging. They look expensive. They're great quality. They are just so pretty. And the matte color colors are spot on, they're great, they're not drying or anything like that. NYX lipstick across the board are my favourite, but the actual line that I've been drawn towards the most is the butter lipsticks and I adore these. These are sensational lipsticks. The one that I love the most is Fun Size and I've talked about this before being a dupe or my YSL lipstick in beige tribute. I think all of them are great. They're great colours. I just think that Ireland were a bit slow on getting in the colours. I'm only seeing them come in now so I've been buying them online. Another lip product I want to talk to you about is actually from LA Girl and these are their matte lipstick thingies. They're really great because they're easy to apply. They come with a nice little wand. They're super pigmented. Look at that. That's in the colour innocent and this other color is in dreamy and I really like this and a lot of people ask me about this when I wear it too that's it there they're super pretty really pigmented like I said they're not drying but these are great so the final thing I want to talk to you about is brushes one brush brand that I've been drawn to the most this year is Zoeva and I just think they're great my favorite collection that I've tried from Zoeva is their rose gold collection and these are manky dirty brushes apologies for that these brushes are great for blending they're great for contouring they're great for everything they feel expensive they look expensive and I think they start at about six or seven euro per brush. So definitely check out Zoeva. I will link down their website below. Another brush brand I've been loving this year is my Nima brushes and again some of these look a bit manky. They're well loved. Nima is an Irish brand and I absolutely adore these. They're such high quality. They're so expensive to look at as well and they're quite affordable. Look at the brush handles. Aren't they so pretty? Like gold and Tiffany's blue and then you've got like bronze and white. They're just insanely pretty. They're great quality and they come in sets and everything so do check them out. So my 
top, top, top brush brand of 2015 is Morphe. Look how many of these brushes. These are all new ones. I'm so obsessed with the brand. I just have to have all the brushes. I, I use these constantly in videos. You guys are probably sick seeing them. I use them for everything. Blending, applying powders. I use them for contouring. I use them for my eyes, for my brows, everything. There's so many different shapes and sizes. There's so many great brushes from Morphe. They're one of the most outstanding brands that I've ever used for brushes and I just, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Go and buy yourself some if you're looking for new brushes. So guys, whew, there was a lot of products to get through there. I know I've ranted and raved about some of them. I dread editing this because it's gonna go on for hours, but I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. So let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up so that I'll know to make more next year to continue with my favorites videos. This was so amazing to actually film and pick out products that I fell in love with over 2015. I'm excited to see what the drugstore and the other affordable brands have for the upcoming year. And I'm sure next year there'll be a whole barrel of brand new products coming your way. So guys, I will talk to you next time. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout 2015. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Mwah.